is it, Sam? The 27th of January? Yes. I hear the snow a coming. It's coming from the south. I haven't seen the sunshine. Is it going to be bad enough to, like, stock up on groceries and stuff? Well, if you don't have any, yeah. They're calling. We had the emergency management director for the county in, in today with his family. And uh, I asked him, and he said, yeah, we're still looking for 6 to 10. It just matters on how much ice we get. So, you heard it here first. Well, maybe second, third. <laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> when it's coming. We're going to be able to work just get through the day and work all day, and then it's going to start hitting. Right That's on. what I'm hearing. Alrighty, so it's 27th, it's a beautiful day in southeast Kansas. The sun was out for like 30 seconds. And I don't know, did you see it? Mm -mm. It was. No, I just ran to the grocery store real quick and I was getting smacked in the face with rain. Yeah. The wind was blowing real hard. Did you guys hard. see the, the ring around the moon last night? Uh oh. That's a sure, that's ice crystals up in there. And it's a sure sign that we're going to get some bad stuff coming. So it, it, it's coming. The Doug Hetty said that we're going to have stuff. and uh, Who needs Palmer, Doug Hetty when they have you, Doctor? Me? I listen to Doug Hetty. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> of course. That and AccuWeather. AccuWeather and I are real good buddies. Uh, and then the Farmer's Almanac says February is just going to be cold. So, probably so. All right. Now, see, that was you making me talk. Sorry. About. Okay. Beautiful day in Southeast Canada. Uh, we've got some birthdays. Dana Brinkley Brady, happy birthday. Jessica Dalton, Joshua Fletcher, Chauncey Frisbee, uh, Katrina Gurney, and Jason Myers. Then the birthdays yesterday that of my Facebook friends that we were, our server was down. So it's Philip Vogel over there in Joplin. Happy birthday, Philip, yesterday. A little late, but uh, uh, Christine Messer, happy birthday to you. And then, oh, Rochelle, she's quite a gal. Rochelle Sadler. She, uh, she used to be with Metropolitan Bride. Yeah, she she got me all fixed up with Metropolitan Bride, got me going, and then moved. <laughs> uh, so you know, I have I have I have lovely representatives now, but uh, you yeah, know, she did. She got me all set up and took off on me. She's fine. She's a great gal. Uh, then today birthdays from Facebook. We have uh, Chrissy King over there in uh, Carl Junction. No? We've uh, sat at many a ball tournaments with Chrissy King over the years. So, uh, Her daughters, Amanda, Manny, uh, DeCastro, plays for Pitt State. Quite a gal, too. Like a, Almost like another daughter. Um, and then Mark Leamy, uh, up around the, uh, from the compound is what we call it, up around the, uh, up around the uh, Jasper uh, baseline area over in Missouri. You know, that's, uh, that's he, he lives there in the compound with uh, his cousin Danny and that, that, that's that's quite a grouping they have there. Great people, though. Nice people. Uh, that's it. So that, that pretty well covers it. Now, tomorrow we've got a big old bunch of birthdays that we'll get to. So. Big O. Big O. I didn't say what I normally say because I'm, <laughs> I'm being recorded. So, so I'm trying to be nice. Uh, uh, let's see. So let's move back to what we're actually here for. Oh, the question of the day. And, uh, you know, I, I can imagine how this was said. So so what services do you provide? You know, I'm thinking that's a bit, it, I'll say it nice. So what for services do you provide? Well, about the only thing we don't do here is I don't pull teeth. People say, well, aren't you a dentist? Why don't you pull teeth? There's some very good, tremendous oral surgeons in this area. And actually, we have more than we've ever had. And, uh, you know, they do a nice job and, when those teeth come out, they come out, and and that's what they do all day long. They do a nice job for us, and uh, you know, that's, that's just the choice I made years ago. I used to pull teeth, but uh, just don't. And uh, then root canals, I usually let uh, one of the endodontists, usually Dr. Laird, over in Joplin, do the the root canals for us because that's just really you know something that you need to be doing all the time to be really good at. Could I do a root canal if you came in and held a gun to my head? I could do a root canal. I could pull a tooth out. But, you know, please don't hold a gun to my head and make me do it. So, uh, there again, it's something that, that if you do it every day, you get really good at. We do fillings and crown and bridge and dentures and 
all that kind of stuff every day, and, and we like to think we're pretty decent at it. So that's that's what we do, what we do. Uh, link of the day. Five? Five minutes, because you made me talk longer earlier. Link of the day. Uh, reaction. What are we having a reaction to? Like like some antibiotics, and you kind of get a rash? No, like she won, and it took her a few minutes to finally get that to, she won. That she won. <laughs> So are, are these people getting with your knee going up and down like that? Or are they kind of getting a? I hope not. A rocking like a, like they're on a ship. We're doing this from a cruise ship today. Sam's got her. Hey, if elbow. you would give me my green screen, we could do that. Huh? We could have a green screen and yeah. we could have a cruise Wouldn't ship. Wouldn't that behind be pretty me. cool? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. All righty. Well, link of the day is somebody having a reaction to winning. It's not a rash. No, it's funny though. Okay, it's funny. Sam says it's funny. Probably somebody's getting hurt, bumped in their head or something. So, no, hey, you go if uh, hope you, you get through this weather that's a coming for all our friends around here. And Sam says, wrap it up. We're at six minutes, so I'll be quiet and we'll see you.